everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. Let's go back to talking about some components of the HVAC system. Last fall, I did a video on DX versus chilled water system, but I didn't really talk about the chiller or the components of the chilled water system. So let's do an overview on chillers today. Let's get started. I'll put a link to the video from the fall in the description, but let me bring back the image of the four systems I discussed in that video right now. So you can see I had DX and chilled water and water cooled and air cooled systems. By the way I drew them, they look like separate components. And in one of the videos, maybe the one on the refrigeration cycle, I drew a line and said that in your house, these components would be on the outside unit and these components would be in the inside unit. But in a chilled water system, all the components in this box are part of the chiller. So if I draw a box around here or here, these would all be sitting in a mechanical room somewhere on a job site as part of the chiller. So let's draw this again in a very simple form and I'll compare it to a photo of a chiller to help you orient yourself around the components. So let's start with the evaporator down here. There will be a chilled water line that goes in and out of the evaporator that goes to the cooling coils on the air handler. So let's put a picture of a chiller over here so we can look at the components as I draw it. So this is the evaporator. So this tank section right here would be the evaporator. And then you have the chilled water in and out that's going to the air handler. This section would also be insulated. Next, the suction line goes out of the evaporator into the compressor. And then on our chiller, the compressor is this section right here. And it's actually just this kind of part right in here because the rest of it on the left in the image would be the motor to drive it. And then on this side of it, this is the suction line. Now let's draw the condenser in and the discharge line comes out of the compressor and into the condenser. There's also a water loop coming out of the condenser that goes to the cooling tower. So this section right here is the condenser and it's a little hard to see. It's a tank on the backside and you can see the inlet and the outlet to go to the cooling tower. In fact, let's bring in another picture of a side view and you can see down here is the condenser. There's the discharge line, which you can't see in the picture above. And then let's go ahead and just draw in, this is the evaporator here and the compressors up here. Now our refrigerant line comes out of the condenser and goes into the expansion valve. You're gonna see that down here in our chiller picture and down here in the side view. And then that goes back into the evaporator. This line's called the liquid line and you can see it kind of right here in the picture of the chiller. So those are all the components of the chiller and how they fit into the refrigeration cycle that we discussed last fall. We'll stop for now and save the different types of chillers for the next video. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.